Last morning here at Joe's, and I'm gonna head out fishing on my own again. There's so many different options to fish at Joe's, and they're all beautiful spots. But one thing I know is go where the fish are, not where you hope they're gonna be. And, you know, fishing around that gap area has, has been very consistent for the first couple days, so I'm, I'm gonna head straight back there. It seems right now at certain times of the day, fish are being caught in different areas of the gap. So, you know, I have this one area in my mind kind of targeted where I'm gonna spend most of my time at today, and uh, we'll, we'll see if it pans out. I don't know, that was a big, slow bite here, and I, I almost think we got a halibut on, but it, I'm not quite sure, or it's a big spring, I don't know. At first I thought we were snagged. This is kind of a surprise catch here. Like we're in an area that's only about 40 feet deep. And I know there was a pretty nice halibut caught in here yesterday. And I, I'm thinking this is another halibut here, but shallow water, 40 feet deep. It's in a little, a little gap here. We're in, a bit, we're in a bit of a stalemate here. Look at my rod, it's bent from the cork almost into the water and I can't really make any progress on this thing. Yeah, come on up. Oh boy. You didn't like that. Not like that. One bit. <laughs> Look at my rod is buried under the boat. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Just cooperate a little bit here. My arm is shaking. <laughs> uh, he's just hanging there. I can't move him. I'm like shaking. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly how big it is just because on a salmon rod. Oh, but I tell you one thing. <laughs> when he wants to go back down to the bottom, he's going back down to the bottom. And there's my weight. Oh yeah, I can see it. Oh, it's a halibut. It's a halibut. <laughs> there it is. That's a nice halibut. I think he's 100 pounds. Well, there's no way I'm bringing him on board, so I'm just gonna put my rod in the rod holder if I can, try and grab the leader and uh, just cut it. Hopefully it doesn't go ballistic here. He's a big halibut. We don't even have to uh, weigh this guy. I can, I can tell he's, he's massive. So I'm just trying to get a good release on him. If I can get the hooks out, I will. If not, I'm just gonna have to cut the leader as close as I can. Oh yeah, he's too big, look at him. He just got off right there. No, we just, just released him here right at the side of the boat, popped the hooks out and no harm to him. But what, what an experience that was on the salmon rod. He, he, I don't, he was, I don't know, he had to be all at 80 pounds, maybe close to 100, cool fish. Whoa, man. That's, that's, that'll hurt, that'll warm you up in a hurry. Cool to see fish that big.